So, hello Forever Family. My name's Shannon. I'm a recovery pastor. And, you know, I want to share something with you that it's, we all have different past experiences and that changes our perspective. So, I really just want to, um, I want to give you a little insight to a perspective that I had growing up. So, for those of you that know me, you know this fact and it's not a big shocker. Um, I grew up on Straight Mountain. And so, the ridge of the mountain, you could stand there and overlook the valley, which is Springville and the Asheville, and you could see across to um, roughly where Pell City is at and Gadsden's at and those areas. So we could literally watch the rain move across the valley, and it was one of the most calming things in the world to watch. And even when it was just a little patch of rain falling, You could literally watch the rain move from one city to another, one area to another. So while we could watch this move across the sky and across the valley, we could also watch how the clouds formed and they cast shadows. And it was just, gosh, it was just such a a peaceful thing to get to watch how everything God created worked together. So now being a visual person... Many of you already knew that about me, and that's not another shocker either. But when I would watch a single cloud go across the area, I couldn't help but think of how God moves over our houses and over our lives and things like that. And it makes me think of when people are just praying and they're they're crying out to God. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of the how I would see God moving across the over their homes maybe and when they would be praying I think about God's heart just hurting for these people and and how he would just pour out grace like the rain falling on their homes so as their prayers are going up my visual of this rain is just mercy and grace pouring out over them And then the cloud would move a little further along to another area. And it just, that's my visual of how it is when we cry out for mercy and grace through our prayers is that the Holy Spirit moves to us, pours out the mercy and grace like rain falling on our house. And it it washes away the stains of the world. And when I say stains, I mean the hurt. I mean, all of the um, the negative impacts that the world brings on us, that grace like rain pours out and just removes, washes all of that stain or the dirt of the hurt that the world impacts us with or tries to impact us with. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9 tells us that the Lord is not slow to keep his promises, not in the way that that we understand the word slow, but instead he's very patient with us. I'm so thankful he's very patient because he could pour out wrath on us so quickly that we literally can turn to an Old Testament pillar of salt, but he doesn't do that to us. He's patient And he doesn't want us to perish. He really has great plans for every single one of us. He wants us to prosper. But he wants us all to come into a repentance. Repentance is to confess our heart, even though he knows what's going on. It's to confess our heart and be cleansed. The grace like rain, the mercy and the grace pouring out of us to cleanse us of the stains of the world. So I hope next time you see a cloud moving across the sky and you see, uh, you know, the rain falling in a small section, I hope you pray for whoever is in that area or whoever is around you that really is crying out with their whole heart and they really need God to show up and show out. I hope you pray for them because we don't have to know what they're praying for. But pray for them. That's one of the ways we can come together in unity is to pray for God to move in each and every one of our lives so that 
the hurt and the dirt and the stains of this world can be washed away. This message of encouragement is called Grace Like Rain. Until next time, guys, I just want to challenge you to stop what you're doing. Even when you you just don't know why, but the Holy Spirit is convicting your heart to pray. Just pray, God, whatever is going on, whoever it is that you're placing on my heart, I pray your will. I pray they receive it. I pray they hear it. And I pray they act upon it so that you can bring prosperity, happiness, and joy into their life through your mercy, your patience, and your grace. So until next time, everyone, speak life, be a blessing, put your faith feet into action to cause a ripple effect. Again, this moment of encouragement is called Grace Like Rain. Much agape, everybody.